flame brazing. Very suitable for joining aluminium components with simple structural shapes, tube to tube or tube to fitting joints, or components with very dissimilar effective thermal masses. Flame brazing can be used in a wide variety of ways. The decisive advantage compared to furnace brazing, faster heat up rate and the ability to match the temperature individually to single components. Anyone who already has experience with flame brazing using corrosive fluxes containing chloride will quickly discover that the use of Nokolok flux offers decisive advantages. However, attention must be paid to a few special details when changing over the equipment and process to Nokolok flux flame brazing. Nokolok flux is a mixture of potassium fluoroaluminate salts. The white powder can be further processed into brazing or flux paste or even into wire filled or coated with flux. You can save a few working steps if you use wire or brazing paste. However, we would like to demonstrate the entire brazing procedure to you in the following scenes. The paste is mixed in a ratio of 40% Nokolok flux to 60% water or alcohol. The use of alcohol makes the paste dry more quickly. Before the actual brazing starts, the component surfaces to be brazed must be freed of all machining residues. Either solvents or surfactant substances can be used equally well for this. After this, the components are assembled and fitted with the brazing metal, in this case a filler alloy ring. Take care to ensure that the brazing alloy is in intimate contact with the components. However, high pressure must be avoided so as not to hinder the flow of the filler alloy. The recommended gap widths are between 0.1 and 0.15 millimeters. Larger brazing gaps reduce the capillary action and may require more filler metal. The flux paste is then applied to the entire surface to be brazed. 25 to 30 grams per square meter is sufficient. Drying can be accelerated by ventilation or gently warming the surrounding area to be brazed. Care is advisable here. Overheating leads to a risk of the flux flaking off or falling off. The majority of commercially available gas mixtures can be used to flame braze aluminium. Care must be taken to ensure that the components are uniformly heated during the actual brazing process. At the same time, the brazing flame must not be directed at one point for too long. This avoids overheating and burning through the material. If components with different thermally effective masses are to be brazed together, the larger component must be heated correspondingly more powerfully in order to achieve the required brazing temperature on the brazed surfaces of both parts that are to be brazed together. This is especially important for internal brazed surfaces because the temperature on the outer surface is always higher than in the interior of the component. The following must be noted when using alloys containing magnesium. Components with up to 1% magnesium can be processed effortlessly. Alloys with up to 2% of magnesium can be brazed only by quicker heat up rates or higher flux loading. As a basic principle, pointing the flame directly onto the filler metal and flux for too long must be avoided. Otherwise, they may melt even before the surface to be brazed has reached brazing temperature. The defined melting point range lies between 565 and 572 degrees centigrade. When flame brazing with Nokolok flux, there are three temperature indicators. A yellow flame at the aluminium surface is a warning sign. It indicates that the surface is overheated and there is a risk of burn through. The second indicator, the white area covered with flux becoming transparent, indicates a temperature of 565 degrees centigrade. The flux is now starting to melt. The flames can now be pointed directly at the brazing surface. Shortly after the flux melts, the filler metal also loses its shape and melts at about 577 degrees centigrade. The third indicator. 
As soon as the filler metal has completely melted, the flame should be immediately withdrawn. In the molten state, the flux dissolves the oxide present on the aluminium surfaces of the components that are to be joined together and prevents further oxidation. This wets the surfaces and the filler metal can flow freely onto the brazing surfaces by capillary action. After cooling down, the flux hardens and remains as a thin, strongly adhering layer on the surface. Subsequent treatment is unnecessary. The flux is visible, but is not corrosive and not hygroscopic. The surface shows only minimal flux residues and can be overpainted well. If absolutely necessary, the flux can be removed. It is preferable to use mechanical means such as wire brushes or sandblasting for this purpose. Nocolock flux is also suitable for automated use. Our example shows an indexing table carousel type brazing machine. In this case, the workpieces to be brazed are inserted manually. The premixed flux paste is applied uniformly with a syringe. Of course, Nocolock flux can also be used when the flux paste is applied automatically. The carousel automatically transfers the prepared components to the preheating station. As soon as they have been moved in, the torch switches from pilot flame to main flame. After the preset preheat time has elapsed, the torches are automatically turned down to pilot flame and the carousel cycles the components to the brazing station. The torches switch on and the preset brazing time begins to elapse. The workpiece temperature is monitored by an infrared pyrometer during the entire brazing process. If the temperature rises above the defined threshold value, the torches are turned off. Thereafter, if it falls below this value within the preset brazing time, they are automatically turned on again. The filler alloy is applied using a brazing wire feed cylinder. The quantity of filler metal is adjusted via the feed time and transport speed. Here, the completely brazed component is cooled first with a water spray and then an air spray. This ensures rapid further processing. The carousel brazing machine has four workstations. In continuous operation, one component is processed at each station simultaneously. The cycling speed, preheat and brazing duration, and the quantity of filler metal and cool down time can be adjusted individually to different brazing situations. Whether you braze by hand or by machine, with flame brazing, you will always make the right choice with Nocolock Flux.